Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. For today's video I am decorating my Christmas tree. There was a little glimpse of what I'm working with and how my living room looks currently. I did put up my Christmas tree in one of my previous videos but now it's time to decorate. So I did get some new ornaments from Hobby Lobby this year. These are so pretty guys. I'm all about the velvet and flocked and neutral ornaments. I thought these were perfect for my living room colors and everything that I'm working with this year. So I am going through my previous ornaments in this bucket. I do have a lot of Studio McGee ornaments from last year, you guys. They did come with some like denim blue colors. I think I'm opting out for those this year and I'm just sticking with these really pretty neutral browns, white and tan and all of those colors because they just look so good in my living room and what I already have. So I am just going to go through all of the ornaments and kind of pick and choose which ones I want to work with. One of my favorite parts of my tree last year was this really pretty bow topper. I think it's so perfect and I'm so excited to put it up this year. So here's an overview of everything that I'm working with. I did put a lot away because I didn't feel like they matched with everything. I'm just going with the pretty gold glitter with the velvet flocked ornaments. I think the colors are perfect. I actually might go and get a couple more ornaments because I do feel like a lot of them are just all round and I do like the variety of different shapes and textures and all of that. So I may be adding a little bit more to my tree, but this is what I had and I think right now it's a perfect baseline to kind of build off of it and see what else I can add on to it later. So now that all of the ornaments have all the hooks attached, that always takes the longest part, you guys. I can finally start decorating. So I am starting with these pretty sparkly ornaments. I'm just going to put these, kind of spread them out all along the tree so they are even. And if you guys are wondering, yes, I actually had to film this in two different videos. So if you're like, wait a second, she was just wearing jeans and a sweater. I totally was. I filmed actually, I continue to film onto the next day. So now I'm wearing a dress and we're going to get this tree done. It's actually a lot of work pulling pulling everything out of the garage, putting the hooks on, all of that. I had to go get my kiddos from school. So now I can continue decorating this tree. So I do have a mixture of shatterproof ornaments and then I have some glass ornaments. So you guys, these glass ornaments are so heavy. So it definitely takes me a second to kind of adjust the branches, make sure it's very sturdy because once I would go and put the glass ornament on the tree, it would just hang down you guys i don't know i don't know if there's any way around it i've always had shatterproof ornaments with my kiddos because they shake the tree and all of that so i'm definitely getting used to like these glass ornaments they're beautiful they're stunning but they're just so heavy <laughs> so i would just kind of go to put it on and it would just droop down um they're beautiful and i just i kind of make it work i kind of adjust the branches and everything like that <laughs> Thank you. 
let me know in the comments below when you put up your Christmas tree and start decorating it. I think I've asked you guys this question before and most of you say after Thanksgiving. I know a lot of people that wait till after Thanksgiving to put their tree up. I've always like once Halloween is done, it's automatically Christmas time. Now it's not right after because I do like that little buffer between holidays and decorating, but definitely the beginning of November, you guys, I think it's Christmas. I went to TJ Maxx and Home Goods, and they are fully, fully stocked with Christmas decor, Christmas trees, Christmas toys, you guys. So many Christmas toys for the kiddos. And that's funny because I love decorating super early, but I always am that person that waits till the last minute to do their Christmas shopping. I'm on Amazon getting that two day next day shipping. I'm that person and I just, I hate it, but it's just who I am. I just cannot think of buying Christmas presents in November. It's so weird, but I can do the decorating of course. Also, you guys, if you noticed, my TV stand looks a little different. I actually was going to do a video on this, but I decided one day to just take off the feet of my TV stand. So I had put up a video where I put three of those cabinets together and make a TV stand. So I just put three of them together, but I left the legs on. So I actually ended up taking the legs off and you guys, it looks a million times better. And I'm sure you guys around here on my channel, you know that I put those three cabinets together. I had the legs on and you can tell like it looks so different. It looks way more elevated without the legs. So if you guys did that little project too, definitely consider taking off the legs of those cabinets. It looks so much better. Now that I have all of the big brown and the taupe colors ornaments on my tree, I'm going to add in these pops of white. These are just a really pretty cream color. They look a lot more white on camera, but they're pretty they're pretty cream colored and they match my pillows and everything else. I'm also adding in these pretty beige ornaments. They have different textures, different sizes, different shapes. I love these. So I'm just adding these along and the tree is coming together so far. I went ahead and added these bells to the tree these gold bells I think they're so pretty and then I added those beigey kind of like brown ones that are almost shiny I added those on as well and it is coming together you guys and then the best part is this bow topper I definitely have to grab the ladder for this one I attempted to hang it up with just the chair that I was using and that did not work. I was way too short and I was leaning over and I was about to fall over and that was off camera of course. But now I use the ladder and I'm just going to hang up the bow topper. So once I hung up the topper, I definitely feel like the tree needed a little bit more. And last year I did add these really pretty dark brown bows to it. This year, I really didn't wanna to add too much dark brown because I already had a lot of dark brown ornaments in the tree. So I picked up some ribbon and I am actually tying my own bows in this pretty brown, almost like burnt orange color. I thought it looked so perfect on the tree. So I actually will link below the TikTok video that taught me how to tie these bows. Previously, I want to say last year, I just tied them like a basic 
not bow and they didn't look as pretty so I actually had to look up a TikTok video and it taught me how to tie a bow. Now there's other ways that I've seen actually way prettier ways now recently that Christmas is coming all of those videos are popping up. I've seen way better ways to tie bows but I'll just link down below what taught me like I said, there's so many ways to tie bows. There's like with double bows and just so many ways. But this is the ribbon that I am using. I got it off Amazon. It was honestly like $6, you guys. Very reasonable. And you can just tie your own bows and it gives you so much ribbon to work with. So I'm just going to kind of try to show you. I start with a long piece of ribbon and I, it's really hard to explain, but I just kind of wrap it around my fingers and yeah it's not hard it kind of takes a little time getting used to but once you get the hang of it I could tie bows like back to back with not even like thinking about doing it it is confusing at first though so I'm just going to try to loop it around and then pull it through and it gives you this really pretty Christmas bow All right, everyone. So that is just about it for my Christmas tree decorating video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. I will be posting more Christmas decorating videos coming soon. I will be decorating more in the living room and my kitchen. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.